Good fucking buy Plusnet. That's all I have to say. You know, I've been with Plusnet for close to two years now. They started out okay, and now they're shit, in my opinion. They wouldn't take a payment properly. The websites are shit. The fucking routers are a joke. They're BT home hubs, but they're much worse. Um, you can't always log into the bastard, so it's always breaking down and you've got to reset it to get into it and try again because it says try again after 10 minutes and it still doesn't fucking do it or three minutes or whatever so you've got to reset the fucking thing by plugging it plug it back in wasting time put disconnecting all your users and all that just yeah uh so yeah i've said goodbye i'm now going with now tv um i know it's the sky ripoff thing but or a sky transfer but what a load of shit plus net is. Don't get me wrong, the internet's okay. The router is modestly okay. Um, could be better. Uh, you can't private your networks for a start. And the BT Home Hub had that one flaw. Um, one thing I need to ask BT and that is, and plus net is, if the fucking router's good, why do you keep changing the bastard every five seconds? If it's that brilliant, why do you have to keep changing it? The skybox doesn't change as much as you fuckers. Um, anyway, yeah, fuck Plusnet. Plusnet's not accepting the payment. They're turning me off at random. It's time to fucking go away from this company. I'm paying way too much for these cunts to do nothing. And um, I keep I keep calling them up. And they do nothing about the problem. They say the website's been down and you're the two fucking percent that have this problem. More like 100%. Because... Everyone else is talking about how shit this company is at the moment. How they're not taking a payment. How nothing works properly anymore. They've been cut off at random because they haven't been paying. Even though the fact they're trying to pay for their bill online. And it doesn't fucking work. So plus net. Get fucked. I'm going with Now TV. Oh yeah and I uh, need to mention that. Um, even though I'm going with Now TV. And I know how much Sky's crappy box is crap. You know the, the Sky box fucking two fucking ethernet port piece of shit router is so what i'm going to be doing when i get to my own flat again is get the now tv package box thing that's probably going to be a, the the crappy sky box thing that i used to have and what i'm going to do is is i'm going to order a separate router online online and i'm going to fucking put the information through that way because then i won't fucking moan about the stupid router ever again and I can do a firmware upgrade and not get fucked over by these companies, hopefully and if now TV's crap I'm going to say goodbye to these cunts as well, but yeah again, f fuck Plusnet what a piece of shit network, don't go with them if you want respect with your own fucking companies, you know these companies don't fucking give you shit you know, don't don't even pay the fucking contract off, in my opinion. Just cancel your credit card and go some fucker else. Who gives a crap about credit score? It's made up by banks. It's bullshit. Anyway, I'll probably show you this router or something, some bullshit about the router, but I'm not going to really use it for Wi-Fi, so all the information that I show you is probably going to be bullshit anyway. I tell you what, guys, I just got home, and um, I realise now there's this restriction on my account from Plusnet. Hilarious, guys. Didn't work though very. It didn't work very well though, did it, folks? I mean, you, you put a restriction on, and yet we still can look at gigabytes of porn. So what kind of restrictions that? I'll be glad when this router fucking goes out the window. I will tell you that I'm gonna get a better router and be on a better company in this piece of shit. I'm hoping. I'm fucking hoping. Anyway, Sean might have something to say to you. I can still watch pornos. <laughs> I'm Jacob, and I approve that message. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> this piece of shit router is definitely going to be gone. Um, as soon as I've got a better router, I'm hoping to completely get rid of the Now TV one and the Plusnet one, because let's face it, it's just the Skybox. And you remember what happened last time to Sky. I buried it in a box. Look, Wi-Fi keys, look, I don't even give a shit anymore. That piece of shit's going to be destroyed, don't worry, and it's going to be in video, that one. Uh, the Skybox is in there, the Talk Talk one. I don't know where the BT one's gone, but it'll be hilarious to destroy it. Anyway, let's see what happens, and uh, 
Hopefully it'll be a better story than I'm looking at Perno. One. Cheerio. So, a little bit of an update. One of the routers have arrived, but I don't even know if this is the right router because there was a bit of a order confusion. And apparently it was supposed to be live on a different date, but now it's on the 25th. So, I don't know if this is the router that was going to be for the other one to get connected, or this is for the new one that was going to be connected for the 25th, I believe. But it's here, nonetheless, and um, I'm actually uh, getting it ready um, for the new exchange to Now TV, because let's face facts here, um, you can't just put the down router online, can you? You've got to optimise the settings so no one can actually steal your Wi-Fi or whatever. So uh, the best thing is to turn off like WPS and uh, obviously, you know, I've actually turned off the Wi-Fi feature on this thing because the PlusNet one still works okay for Wi-Fi and I'm hoping that it would just work as easy as an Ethernet cable like before, like I did with my mum's home router once where I plugged it into the back of the crappy one, you know, when it was on EE, that crap story. Um, but yeah... It's here. Um, if there's another one that comes in the post, I'm going to have to be very shocked in the next one because, you know, <sighs> I thought they cancelled the other one. So, there was me thinking that, you know. But anyway, I've set it up anyway, just in case it is the router that's going to go on the 25th. I'm hoping it is. It uh, probably has the same information anyway, but who knows. Um, I'm not going to send it to Now TV, this thing anymore, you know. If this is the wrong one, I'm not going to send it back to Now TV. What's the point? I trash it in the router trash or something. That'd be funny. But yeah, um, the Now TV box looks exactly like the Sky one. So if you picture the Sky one I had in my hand, it's a bit like that. Um, but I'm not going to reveal it just yet because there's information on the screen that I don't want showing because I'm sorting it out, obviously. So I'm turning off things like Wi Fi and turning off certain shit features like WPS, even if we did use that, and uh, such like that. So yeah. I'm pretty glad that this came for the post. I was worried about it. We actually missed it at one point uh, a couple of days ago. And uh, I was a bit worried because we wasn't too sure if this was the route or not. But we're just going to have to guess it is. Because we are getting quite close to the 25th. Even though it is the 15th. So, I don't know. We might be getting another route for the post. If we do, <laughs> we'll let you know. And we're going to have to sort that one out instead. Because it might have the wrong information. Who knows. Oh well. March on. Now then, don't fucking panic. I have not connected my Now TV box yet. As you can tell, there's no one in it anyway. Um, but I'm getting it ready uh, for the switch over to Now TV from Crappy Crappy Plus Net. And um, I've also cleaned the bottom of this, so actually it's less dusty now, um, which is funny. Actually, I didn't really do anything. I did the lazy hand cloth. <laughs> but anyway, here it is. Ready to go. I'm just hoping that this is the router for the switch over, but if it's not, I'll say, oh no, surprise, look, we got a new fucking router in the post. We better use this one, etc, etc. So, we'll see what happens, shall we? And uh, see if Now TV delivers what it's supposed to over time. It might say, Now TV sucks soon, who knows? But I've connected the new one, and yeah, I know my lip's bleeding. You don't have to fucking tell me that. I've been biting on it again. Anyway, now TV's ready to go. It's plugged in. I've just got to plug in the rest of the wires. And I've also put in the new filter. So, yeah, I'm fully doing this for real now. I'm switching over to Now TV. Um, the reason why I'm using their version, like the Sky micro filter thing, is because... I don't know, I just like their micro filter. It looks cool. It looks better than most of the Now TV, I mean, the other fucking filters that you use. So that's why I am using it. I wanted to use it, but unfortunately, you know, I had loads of spares of these micro filters and I thought I used the Talk Talk one for a while. It, yeah, the Talk Talk one. Has worked for a very long time uh, throughout the year. Worked fine, not a problem. Um, but I've decided to use the Sky one, that's all. Because it looks cool. That's the only reason I'm using the filter. 
and it seems to be working you saw the uh, blue light was on the crappy plus net one so it's ready to go um, so we'll find out how this all goes right so tonight's the night the internet switches over to now TV I've never been so excited to stay away from fucking plus net in all my life but yeah this is going to be the last time we're going to see this running the internet like this, if that makes any sense. I'm going to see if I can get away with this short ass cable to plug into the back of the router and plug into the plus net one so we still have Wi-Fi coming from the box um, because the now TV one's quite crap. Crap. <laughs> crap. Um, yeah, the now TV box is the Skybox. And Skyboxes have a reputation of having crap signal. Because when I was in the bedroom, it was hardly two bars. But with this thing, it's like four bars. So if I put this in the back, it should hopefully give us better boosted Wi-Fi. Also, it means that the CCTV cameras can also um, link up still. And uh, I can change the Wi-Fi over to the next Wi-Fi if I get another bigger router. So the idea of this is I'm going to ditch these two eventually and go for a bigger router. And... Um, but before I do that, I put the bigger router in, I would tune it in, and then I use the plus net, and then I will use the plus net to use on the cameras and change the Wi-Fi over to the next new Wi-Fi, which I'm not going to tell you what it is, because it's going to be hidden and a secret. Anyway, after all that, this is uh, ready to go. So we'll see what happens, and uh, hopefully this magic thing will actually have two lights instead of one, wasting electricity while this thing is working. So... Yay to that. Oh, and the reason why I'm using the Plus Net is because the Plus Net one has, as I said, better signal, but also most of my devices are on the same Wi-Fi name, and I don't like to mess around with a temporary name and, t and move around again. Uh, so I might as well keep it as it is for now, so CCTV cameras still work, and the newer equipment will be able to connect to it in the end, because in the end, this is going to be more temporary than anything because eventually I'm going to get a better router that's um, you know better it's like one gigabit and it's a lot more better than this thing uh, combined with a Wi-Fi on it anyway that's the idea anyway um, I've got to keep this as it is um, and actually um, have everything on Wi-Fi the same and then when I do the final switch over I would use the plus net over the newer router and take away the plus net and it'll be all dandy hopefully because I hope I'm really hoping to get a uh, really good router with three aerials on it so it should really boost and radiate our fucking faces off but anyway for now I'm stuck with this piece of shit so yes bye bye fuck net bye poor no <laughs> well we have internet and we're on it um but we have a bit of a problem with this fucking thing from Plusnet. It looks like Plusnet's taken its virus and took it over straight to the next network. Because even though I've connected the Ethernet properly in the back and all that shit, it's still not having it. It's still not doing it. It's got to be the only router in the world that has refused to work with an Ethernet cable in the back of it to another router. Because all the others have been fine with it. As far as I know, I mean... The talk talk one did pretty well when it came towards that and everything else. And to be honest, I can't really do anything else because this is the only fucking router that's connected to everything. So I'm going to have to reconnect it to another network if I have to do that. And it's going to be a pain in the balls. And I'm not doing that because it's going to take a fucking day. And the whole idea of me carrying it over like this, you know, putting this on that, you know, connection through LAN... So it was so I could, you know, fucking use it on other devices while I changed over to the next bigger one. But obviously it didn't work, obviously, because this piece of shit router wants to be a piece of shit. It's flashing the broadband symbol and it's refusing to let any Wi-Fi work properly. I mean, it, well, obviously you can connect to it, but there's nothing coming through it. It just doesn't want to know. So I'm going to have to do some tinkering and uh, come back to you. Oh, no. <laughs> So I did an old friend JJS free time, just tried to get this thing to work through that piece of shit. But unfortunately, being a plus night, decided to give him a final fuck you by not working. 
Mmm. I threw it across the room, ladies and gentlemen. That's how much I give a fuck now about this thing. Yes. I was hoping, you know, it would help because, you know, things like CCTV cameras and many other things like phone devices, vibrators, etc. are connected through that thing after all. I would have thought it would have been easy as plugging an Ethernet cable in. But obviously, it doesn't want to work as good or efficiently as the TalkTalk Talk version that fucking worked fine for years through an Ethernet cable. So fuck you, PlusNet. Here, have it back. I don't want it. You're fucking worthless. And it, it makes me laugh, Sean. It makes me laugh. Do you know what makes me laugh about these? What? They say that these are fucking worth 40 quid. These things are worth 40 quid. And Joe's you know funny. And Joe's you know funny, Sean. What? Guess how much that, that one with bigger prongs in the back is. How much? The same fucking price. So how dare them say as an insult that this thing is worth any money? How dare them? Anyway, he just pissed off downstairs. Good. Rip these fucking things off because I'm doing my head in it. I wouldn't fucking go where I want to. Well, that's going in the Rupert Root destruction box. I'm going to find the BT one as well because that one's the same fucking make as that. Who makes this piece of shit anyway? Sescom. More like scum. Sagecom, yeah. Yeah, oh. scum. Wait, what's that? Sagecom? What a shit name for a company. Shit company, shit. Yeah. Oh, and well done, Plusnet, for, you know, putting a bit of spray paint on and say Plusnet instead of BT, you fucking assholes. <laughs> That's technically what this is, folks. Yeah, anyway, I'm going to have to fuck around all day and tell you the final verdict, because unfortunately this piece of shit doesn't even deserve the delight all day. So, Sean's now going to drink his coffee, and I'm going to fucking fuck around with the router all day. Yay! So, so I'll this back in the sink. Uh fuck, do you know what? <laughs> Make it official. Go fucking bye. Do you know what? You can have it back. Now. Oh no, it's water damaged. <laughs> what am I going to do, plus net? <laughs> fucking assholes, honestly. <laughs> anyway, that's going in the root of destruction. It's probably going to be still dripping by the time we smack it. <laughs> anyway, let's get on. Right, as you can tell from the other shot um, of that uh, plus net video bit... Um, I had to uh, stop using that router because it wouldn't work. So, yeah, so I had a fun, fun, fun fucking afternoon getting things to work on it. Anyway, everything is working right now. I've got other things and other shit going. I've got the Roku's going. I've got the CCTV working. It took a lot of fucking around, but I got there. And now it actually looks better that way, actually. Um, so, yeah, I had to use the Wi-Fi that was on this in the end anyway, um, with the same Wi-Fi and everything so it could work with the Rukus, but it wouldn't work with the um, CCTV cameras without, you know, making it unprivate, so uh, unfortunately it has to be unprivate for now, and uh, it really sucks. But anyway, thank you very much for watching, guys. Thanks for going through this journey of the Now TV journey. Um, thanks, Now TV, for making this acceptable and um, being less of a rough ride than I expected. Um, plus net can swivel on that and uh, can fuck off now. Anyway, thank you very much for watching guys. Don't forget to comment, rate, subscribe. What uh, broadband have you got? Um, and is it as shitty as fucking plus net? Anyway, peace the fuck out. Hey Sean. Yes? Do you think we can get a refund from plus net for this router? Yeah, I reckon we could. I mean, just just say it got water damaged from uh, a flood or something. Yeah, just say we accidentally, deliberately dropped it in the sink and we'll get our money back. <laughs> accidentally on purpose? Yes. <laughs> uh, yeah, plus that we accidentally, deliberately dropped it and I accidentally, deliberately turned the tap on like this. And JGS Freetown accidentally stuck it under the water like so and it just got accidentally damaged. Can we have our money back, please? Oh no, we've done it again. Oh no, make sure you don't like turn the tap on over the ethernet ports. <laughs>